morning everyone and welcome back to my channel living life with luana so this morning it is a cold new jersey morning and i am drinking some tea i'm having sorrel tea it's a caribbean thing and it is red and i'm burning a candle i got at marshall's it's a berry candle it smells so amazing so for today's video we're going to be talking about fragrances that are in red bottles now fragrances that are in red bottles usually signify something because red is the color of strength it's the color of power it's the color of sensuality of sexiness you know it's all about love and courage so we're going to talk about all fragrances or at least six fragrances that are in a red bottle that do symbolize power and strength and sexuality and beauty and boldness so if you want to see those six please keep watching so all the fragrances that i'm going to be talking about today are fragrances that are bold they are sexy they're out there they're you know confident fragrances so the first one let's just get right into it is a versace red jeans i cannot believe this came out in 1994. i remember when this came out it was all the rage all the craze and now it's been that long and this has not lost a spark versace red jeans is so beautiful it's a casually elegant everyday fragrance that is just an anytime fragrance this fragrance is a blend of floral notes of jasmine lily with white sandalwood rich musk and silky vanilla now this fragrance is of a more laid-back vibe for the younger audience you know the young at heart this fragrance is a beautiful playful fragrance that can be worn from little black dress date night to yoga with the girls it's just one of those fragrances that are multifaceted and one of those fragrances that can do everything i love the bottle it's a signature versace and it is a beautiful fragrance it lasts long the projection is good and um it's a floral fragrance but it's also a fruity fragrance and it has notes of apricot and peach and freesia so it's very sweet and florally and a beautiful fragrance a very fresh fragrance a clean fragrance that is a bold fragrance that stands out like most of these other red fragrances on my list now this is the versace red jeans so the next fragrance is narcisco rodriguez and this is rouge now this is an edt to start so it to me it does not last as long but it projects well and it's a very beautiful fragrance now this fragrance is i think the bottle kind of represent what the fragrance is about it's a seductive fragrance that is mysterious provocative and very passionate it's a bold fragrance it's also an intoxicating fragrance and it's it's a mixture of musk and bulgarian rose and it's also like a woody warm musky floral fragrance that is also powdery so this fragrance is a beautiful fragrance it's one of those fragrances that can fit any occasion any age group any you know demographic it's just an amazing fragrance and it it's a bold fragrance that will get you lots and lots of compliments and um yeah, this is Narcisco. He really does a great job at captivating, you know, what a woman really like. And he did not shy away from that in this fragrance. It's a beautiful, provocative, sexy fragrance. Perfect for Valentine's Day. And yeah, Narcisco. Love Rouge. Our next fragrance is Gucci Bloom Ambrosia de Fiori. Now this one is a flanker from the original Gucci Bloom. This came out in 2019, so it's a fairly new one. So there's a new one and there's an old one on this list. So there's something for everyone. Now, as a flanker, it does not stray far from the original, which is, which is good because sometimes flankers tend to be completely different from what the original is, but not in this case. 
and this fragrance maintains the original classic Gucci quality. It's beautiful. Now this is, I would describe this fragrance as a beautiful garden that is trapped in a bottle. Now this is all things roses, all things beautiful, all things floral, and all things refreshing. It opens with a delicate white floral notes of honeysuckle and jasmine, and then it transitions into the tuberose and into Damascus rose. So this is like a really rose fragrance that is so captivating. It's very feminine. It, you know, it celebrates being your true self. It's colorful, it's vibrant. It's just a beautiful breath of fresh air. This fragrance is an amazing fragrance and I absolutely love Gucci Boo, Blue, Gucci Bloom, Ambrosia de Fiori. The next fragrance is Michael Kors and this is Sexy Ruby. Now this is as sexy and beautiful as the name suggests and this is an amazing fragrance. So let's talk a little bit about it. This is an original quality. You know, Michael Kors does really good fragrances. So we like that this is modern, it's fiery, it's sensual, it's juicy. There are notes of apricot and rose and jasmine. So this is a very fruity, juicy, rosy floral fragrance and it lasts really long on my skin and it's a very glamorous feminine exotic luxurious fragrance and i like that it is simple but it's also complex and it's just really beautiful it's a little black dress occasion fragrance and it's it's like your warm and cozy fragrance that will bring you just a liberating, beautiful, feminine feeling. So this is Michael Kors, sexy ruby, very sexy and very intoxicating. Love, Michael Kors. So our next fragrance is Kenzo Amor, and Amor means love. So you know, this is a perfect one for Valentine's Day. I love the curve up of the bottle that is just so sexy and very appealing. Now, Kenzo Amor is a fragrance that would be described as an oriental vanilla fragrance. It's a very romantic fragrance. It's floral and it's also very woodsy. Now, the top notes here are white tea and rice and this gives it like an earthy smell. And it also has cherry blossom, which makes it very outstanding. And it also has base notes of musk and incense and um, vanilla as well. So you know that it's a long lasting fragrance. It projects well and it's very feminine. It's also sweet. It's a happy fragrance. It is soft, powdery, and also very inviting. So this is a beautiful one for Valentine's Day and this is Kenzo Amor and it's all about love and beauty and Feminine, femininity so yes this is beautiful our last fragrance i would say is one of my favorite fragrances and this is from the house of armani and this is from the line the sea line and this is sea passione and i love this fragrance sea passione and the bottle is amazing i love the black cap and it is such an elegant fragrance is such a feminine bold sensual romantic fragrance that is just perfect for evening wear i would say it's a spring summer fragrance it's a captivating fragrance that is beautiful on the dry down with the notes of vanilla you know it's so warm and it's woody and i love that this has pear it has black currant it has pink pepper and it's just a beautiful, fresh, fruity, juicy, sweet floral fragrance. It's not like sickly sweet, but it's just a sweet, beautiful fragrance. And it's fabulous on the longevity. It's a very versatile, sexy, seductive fragrance. There is also a lipstick. I think it's in shade 400 that is like close to this fragrance and this represents getting all dressed up looking sexy feeling sexy and having a great time 
So this is a Si Passione by Armani. Beautiful fragrance, absolutely love this. So these fragrances are just some of the fragrances in my collection that are in a red bottle and the red represents sexiness, sensuality, boldness, happiness, beauty and just embracing your true inner self now these are perfect gifts for valentine's day and you would really appreciate these perfumes because they are you know they're confident fragrances and they can be worn for any occasion and so i have ones that are not so expensive to ones that are you know reasonably priced and then I have old ones and I have new ones. So it's a wide range of fragrances that you can choose from. And these are red fragrances and they're bold and beautiful fragrances. So if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video and bye guys.